You can win this sporty truck with just one answer on Car Start. And if you play your cards right, you can win $32,000. And now, the host of Car Start, Bob Eubank. Thank you, Gene Lord. Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to Car Start. We're glad you could join us this morning because we have a new truck and a lot of money and two very lovely dealers that I want you to meet right now. We're so happy to have them on our show. And let's welcome them if we can. Susanna Williams and Lacey Pemberton are dealers on Car Chuck. Look at what? Quite a tie. I'm sorry. Quite a tie. It's my holiday tie, and oh, I think it's nice. pretty. I picked it out myself, and I like it. So deal like out the too. cards. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Here we go. Our champion and our challenger, Andy Hazel. Oh, Andy. How you doing, Bob? The same outfit you had on yesterday. Yeah, it just didn't change much. <laughs> I see. Tell us about Andy. Well, I'm a corpsman in the uh, Navy aboard the battleship Missouri, stationed in Long Beach. I'm married, and I've been married for four years now. And you won $4,575 yeah. so far. Not bad, huh? Adrian, welcome. Thank you. And you live where, Adrian? I live in Badger, California. How many people live in Badger, California? Oh, about 400. I didn't say how many is there. I said how many people live there. <laughs> Just about 400. I see. We're way up in the Sierras, the foothills of the Sierras, and we're at the entrance of Kings Canyon National Park and Sequoia National Park. Oh, it's Park. beautiful up there. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a great Gorgeous. part of the country. Now, nice to have you guys back with us. We're going to pick the game up where we left off last time. And if you'll remember, Andy had won the first game. I was ready to ask the third question in game number two. And Lacey's got the cards dealt out just like we left them last time, so let's get it going. Andy, first question's yours. And all week long in our studio audience, we have 10 bachelors over the age of 65, and they're all looking for a wife. And they're back with us again today. And there they are. Oh, they're a bunch. They really are. Before the show, we ask our 10 bachelors, Andy, do you find chubby women sexy? How many of these ten bachelors do find chubby women sexy? Chubby women sexy. That's what I said. Yeah. Hey. You, you find chubby women sexy, Andy? No. You don't? Well, yeah. Kind of. You lied to me, didn't you? Yeah. If you're like those guys, you find all women sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say four of them. Four of the ten say they find chubby women sexy. Adrian? Well, I would think they find any women sexy. That's the same thing I said, Adrian, yes. Adrian wasn't listening. <laughs> I would say it's a little bit higher. A little higher than that. Well, the actual number of these bachelors who find chubby women sexy is... Four of them! All right! Yeah! Okay, my friend, that means $100 to you. And I have $100 to share with the guys down there. Hang on to that. Which four of you guys find chubby women sexy? Raise your hand. Well, you devils, you <laughs> George, how chubby? Oh, I like chubby women. I was married six times, and the six times I was married, the last one I lived with for 15 years, and she was the chubbiest, and she was the best. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been married six times. Six times. Only married one chubby one. One chubby one. Would you marry another chubby woman? Sure would. Would you marry a thin woman? Yeah. You'd marry anybody, wouldn't you, Jim? <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Okay. You froze on the nine, Andy. Want to change it? Change that card. Okay, we will. The nine is now a seven. Higher. Higher than the seven. Yeah. Lower. We go lower. If it's lower, you win the game, the match. You'll play for the big money in a brand new truck. Lower than the king. You did it, Andy. Congratulations, Andy. Well, Adrian, we send you back to the mountains, dear, with nice gifts. And thank you very much for joining us. Bye-bye. Okay, Come on, Andy. Bring your $100. All right, my friend. In just a moment, we're going to let Andy try to win a new truck and also thousands of dollars. We'll be right back to that. All right, Andy. Here we go again. You know how to do this. I know you do. Change one card per line, you know you can do that. Minimum bet to 50 bucks each time, and we're going to give you some of our money to bet with. So $200 for Andy. Good luck to you, my friend. All right, here we go. Chance to win the box with your first card happens to be a jack. You've got $200, Andy. A hundred more. $100 lower than the jack. Good guess. you got $300. Change that card. Which Number one? Number two. Number two. Okay. 
The eight will turn in now to a seven. We got three hundred. Fifty dollars higher. Fifty dollars higher than the seven. Jack, three fifty. Two fifty. Two hundred lower. Two hundred lower than the Jack King. Mm. Ah. Back to one fifty. Up here's four hundred. You got five hundred and fifty dollars. Five. Five hundred higher. No. No. Five hundred lower. Yeah. I don't want to talk you out of anything, but you know you're losing your 500 mind. Five hundred lower. Five hundred lower than the King. There you lower. go. Thousand card number one. All right, come on, Suzanne. Give me a good card. Nine is a seven again. Suzanne's fault, man. Fifty higher. Fifty dollars higher than the seven? No. Back to a thousand dollars. Two hundred dollars higher. Two hundred dollars higher than the five. There we go. Okay, now. Now you can win about twenty-four hundred dollars. All of it? Lord. Good. Gotta be worth two thousand four hundred dollars to you. Look at yeah. that. Turn out the bad after all, No. Let me tell you, you're winning so far now $7,175. Time now to try to win a new truck. You want to do that? Okay, let Gene tell us about the truck you can win. Come here. The Toyota two-wheel drive standard bed truck. It comes equipped with all standard features, including a four-speed manual transmission and California emission. Good luck, Andy Devine. Okay, Andy Devine is right. Now, in order to win this truck, I'll ask you a question about our 10 bachelors down there. Remember, they're all over the age of 65. They're all looking for a wife. Some of them have had a few wives, so they're still looking to try to get it right. Okay? Then I'll ask you the question. I'll ask you to go over there and, and register your answer on our range board. So Susanna has the question. We may have to wrestle her for it, but let's see if we can get it somewhere anyway. Thank you, Susanna. Okay. It's very easy this time. Before the show, we asked these 10 bachelors, have you ever advertised for a wife in the classifieds? How many of these 10 bachelors have advertised for a wife in the classified? Now, what I want you to do is go over there and place the marker on your answer. Would you do that for me, please? How many of our 10 bachelors have actually advertised for a wife in the classified? <laughs> look at the look down there. <laughs> All the guys down there are going, <laughs> talking about us, Homer. <laughs> okay, if you're right, if it is three, then you win the truck. If you're off by one, if it's two or four, then you get another $500 added to your total. That's the number of these bachelors who have advertised for a wife in the classified is... Two of them. Whoa! Run away from winning a truck, but you do get another $500. All right. So you're at $7,675, and we'll be right back to meeting these challenges right after this. Super Mule? Yeah, I was going to say something else. He's scared myself to death. <laughs> Trying to meet a new challenger. Come on, Becky. Join us on Charlie Truck. <laughs> How you, Beck? I'm doing great. Tickle the best to be here. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville. They all, how come they don't say Knoxville? It's Knoxville. Well, if you're from Tennessee, it has to have a little bit of nasal in there and get a Knoxville in there. It's kind of like our neighbor in Maryville. Instead of Maryville, it's Merville. And, and Memphis. <laughs> Memphis is Memphis. It's at the other end of the state. Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. If you're at the other end of the state, then, yeah. It's another world. All right. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Now, what are you doing Knoxville, I, I have two beautiful little girls. And in part of my time, I am a puppeteer with the kids on the block. I become oh. a kid once a week. Okay, I think that's nice. <laughs> well, fun. let's keep going with our game. I've never talked to a puppeteer before. <laughs> <laughs> we start our game now. The first question goes to Andy. You have to win two games. You know that. Then nice things happen to you. So until that time, nothing happens tonight. So here we go. I'll let's relax. see if we can do it. <laughs> Educated guess is what we're going to start off with here, Andrew. Okay. Ready? How many? Oh, you should know this one. How many generals in the United States Army have gone on to become President of the United States? He's counting them. Seven. An educated guess. Seven. Seven. What do you think about this, Becky? Oh, history is my worst. I'm going to say a little lower, though. A little lower than seven. Well, the actual number of U.S. Army generals who have become President of the United States is... Twelve of them have. Not lower, it was higher. Yeah, that's quite so good. Okay, Andy, there we go as a jack. Change the card. Change the jack. Change the Whoa, jack. That devil. The jack becomes a three. Higher. Higher than a three. Uh-oh. Isn't that awful? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That's a three ten. <laughs> jack to you, huh? I'll keep the, oh, I'm having choice. Lower. Lower than a jack. No, oh. not lower than a jack. I had a good time, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Becky, this okay. is yours. You ever been to a marriage counselor, Becky? No. Not yet, huh? No, I uh, have no plans of going. Are you married? Yes. Oh, you'll go then. 
We surveyed 100 married counselors, and we asked them, is it possible for a married man to keep a mistress and keep his wife happily married? Well, I hope not. Well, this is, uh, how many married counselors said that, yeah, it's possible for a man to keep a mistress and to keep his wife happily married? Well, I have one friend that was in this situation, and it did not end happily, and they are now divorced. I, that is not what marriage is made of. And so, is it, they say, yes, it is possible. Yeah, how many say it's possible? 29. 29 out of 100. Andy? It's hard enough to keep one wife happy. I couldn't keep a mistress and a wife happy. I don't know many men that could. I think the number, though, they're going to say it's going to be higher. Six of those ten guys down there said, let me try. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you guys. <laughs> say it's higher. Actual number of marriage counselors who said it's possible for a man to keep a mistress and keep his wife happily married is 38 of them. You're right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, I know you ought to keep that three. Keep that three. Go higher. Higher than the three. <laughs> Different juice, Andy. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, like, oh, it's the same card. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go over there and hit it. I really want oh, to. Oh, I know you want Three cats. Want to change the card, Becky? Because you can't. <laughs> no. Lower. I didn't say could be. I said, do you want to? Lower than the jack? Yeah. Yeah. Lower. Lower than the ten? No. Oh. Different ten, too. Mm, I see. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try another question. Maybe we can get off the base card this time. Andy, you know who Michael Jackson is? Vaguely. <laughs> well, he's older, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was recently reported that Michael Jackson has willed $2 million to his pet chimp, Bubble. <laughs> so we surveyed 100 people who own a pet, and we asked them, have you put your pet in your will? How many pet owners have put their pet in their will? Well, I've got a dog. I love my dog. What kind of dog do you have? Basset Hound. What's your dog's name? Willie. <laughs> oh, I like that. I used to have a Basset Hound. Great dog. Yeah, wonderful. Cleo but... died. <laughs> Ran away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. So, you, a lot of people want to figure, if they've got money like that, they're going to say, we make sure the dog gets taken care of. Out of 100 people, though, I don't think that many make enough money to even have a will drawn up. Just give me an answer, Andy. You're making this a mini -tool. 20. 20 out of 100 have put their pet in their will. Becky? Oh, Bob, this is sad. The day I left to come out here, my dog got killed. Oh, I'm sorry. And she, I wasn't in her will, I don't think. Was she in your will? And she's not in my will. Oh, I'm sorry I about that. I think it's really going to be even lower. Lower than that? Okay. The actual number of pet owners who put their pet in their will is 9 of a yes, lot lower. Is Skippy in your will? I knew there was something I forgot to do. Skippy's not in your will? No. Oh, silly of you. Is. Okay, poor Skippy. I'm still going to keep that jack. You and are? So, yeah, she's got the first will in a minute. Lower. Lower than the jack? Eight. Yes. Lower. 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 Lower than the eight? Three. Yeah, higher. Higher than the three. Ah. It's your fault. You don't. I know. You're I know. giving me dirty looks since you're... Oh, Andy. Higher. Higher than the three. Ten. Lower. Is it lower? You better be. Higher. Higher, yeah. Lower. To win the game. Lower than the king. Oh. Are we having fun, though? Are they still over there? They're still there. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we'll play sudden death when we come back right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Card Trust. We're going to play Sudden Death right now. Somebody has to win the game on the next play of the card, so it's really control is what you're looking for. Becky, this is your question, and this okay. question involves our 10 bachelors over the age of 65 looking for a wife, Becky. <laughs> Becky, do you have any younger girlfriends who are looking for a husband? If you do, please give them the guys. Oh, I have several. Oh, good, yeah. They're ready. I have to come to Tennessee. Oh, they'll go anywhere, believe me. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Before the show, we ask these 10 bachelors, do you have a standard first date that you take women on? How many of these 10 bachelors do have a standard first date where they take the girls? They're going to be a little set in their way. I okay. think, yeah, um, I think about seven. Seven of the 10 have a standard first date they take their women on. What do you think about this, Andy? Could be higher. Higher than that? Ooh, okay. The actual number of these bachelors who have a standard first date is... Four of them. No, not higher, it's lower. Oh, all right. Which four of you guys have a standard 
Dave, raise your hand if you would, please. Dominic is a, the lover of our group now. For those of you who have joined us for the first time this week, Dominic is 84 years old. He's dating a woman 35 years old. And uh, he's still alive. Dominic, now, <laughs> you have the standard first date. What does it consist of, my friend? Well, um, I take her out. And um, if I like her, we are having dinner. If uh, not too much, a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you old cheapskate, you. <laughs> so if you like her, it's dinner. If you don't like her, it's coffee. I see. Okay. Do you have a car, Dominic? Yes. And you drive? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Nice to have you guys with us. Okay. Sudden death time. Thank you, Lace. I appreciate it. <laughs> Save me again. Becky, you have the control. And before I say anything, you're going to pass it on to Andy. Well, Andy, she's passing it on to you. If you make a mistake, you she wins the game. All right? So it's, it's, it's up to, go to you. All the way across. What? Pardon me? He has to go the whole way across, doesn't he? If he wants to, yeah. And he can't freeze. He can't freeze. That's right. He can't change the card. Him. He can't freeze. He can't do anything except stand there and look stupid if he makes a mistake. No, yeah. keep it up. <laughs> okay, Andy, you ready, pal? Ready. Here we go. Higher. Higher it is. Higher. Higher it is. Lower. Is it lower? Yeah. Higher. To win the game, he will run the cards if it's higher than the six. Is it? Yeah. Higher. <laughs> Right, yeah. That'll test your blood pressure, won't it? Okay, hundred dollars added to your total. Game number one is now yours, and so Lacey will start dealing out the cards sometime today. Oh, or, or sorry, Lacey already dealing them out. Good. <laughs> Lacey will deal out the cards from the same deck, and we will now start game number two. All right, Becky, uh, the pressure is on. Yeah, if you don't win this game, it's on your way back to Knoxville with That's nice right. cards. Okay, That's right. well, let's see what happens. Uh, Andy, I've got a question for you. We surveyed 100 people who work in complaint departments of stores. We asked them, last Christmas, did a customer try to return a gift from the Christmas before? How many complaint department workers said a customer did try to return a gift from the previous Christmas? <laughs> Ooh. I know I'll try to, if I don't like something or I, if I get a gift that I don't really like, I'll try to exchange it at any time. If somebody, if I try to take it back and they won't take it one day, I'll try some other time. Have you ever bought a shirt and then wear the shirt and then take it back? No. Those people, I can't even buy shirts. Too big. The shirts are too big? No, I'm too big. Oh, I didn't realize that. It's a special order. It's all from, all by mail. But people that uh, would do something like that, take it back from the year before, I think there should be not that many people. I think it's about 42 people. What? That are going to try to return from last year. Thank you. Did you understand all of this, Becky? I'm sitting here mulling that over, and I, <laughs> he said 42 people would try to return. No, he said 42 people did try. Did? Yeah, try to return a gift from the previous Christmas. Wouldn't that be an awful job? Oh, it's awful, yeah, I know. Oh, and I think after Christmas, they're in such a hurry, taking all the returns, that they're not going to have time to really think about... What, you, what would you guess, high or lower on this So thing? I think it might be a little bit lower. A little bit lower than that. The actual number of complaint department workers who said a customer tried to return a gift from the previous Christmas is 57. Oh, uh, lower. It's higher. People are jerks sometimes. Andy, here we go, pal. Change that card. Change the jack. I, I forgot like he didn't like jack. All right. It'll probably be a five next time. Oh, all right. It's going to be higher. Higher than, yeah. Ooh. Lower than the nine. Six. Higher. Higher than the six. Eight. I'm a three. Are you really? I'm chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. He is one card away from winning this match, and he's freezing right there. And we'll be right back right after these very important words. We have for today. We hope you're having a wonderful holiday time. And for Lacey Pemberton, Susanna Williams, Gene Wood and the gang, I'm Bob Eubanks saying so long from all of us at Card Shark. Happy holidays, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>